Hello again. Uh, we're doing the prop, uh, power property of logarithms now, uh, which basically states that the log base b of m to the p equals, and basically all that happens is that the exponent just comes out in front p log b of m. And usually I have students that kind of question why that is. You know, it, it's actually a fair question. And I suppose the best explanation I have is like, let's say you want to turn this to exponential form. You know, be like b to the y equals m to the p. Uh, after you're done taking care of your bases and trying to simplify them, and etc., the p doesn't really have any result in terms of the actual bases, and it kind of gets factored into it later. Like if the bases were the same, y would equal p. Uh, if you have to reduce the base, uh, if you have to reduce m to make it look like b, it uh, you just multiply it in, and that's pretty much it. Uh, with that said, let's say like this is a two to the y, and this is um, I don't know four to the p. Basically what you do is you say, okay, that's uh, 2 to the y and that's 2 to the 2p. And so all it becomes is like a, a multiplier in front of the actual logarithm. I hope that actually makes sense, but the actual lesson is just to cover the power property of logarithms. But that's basically what you do. Not everybody gets that when I show it to students. And obviously it take a lot more time, but in a video it's quite limited. And even then, students don't necessarily um, understand it, but they just kind of uh, remember it and that's about it. And then when you practice it more and more, then it's not so bad. Uh, so here we go. I've got uh, log base 4 of 6 is approximately 1.3. It's actually 1.295 uh, something, but I didn't want to sit there and multiply later on, so I just made it 1.3 because that's very easy for me. And uh, I want to figure out what the log uh, base 4 uh, 36 is. So what, what's the approximate value? Well, we're going to figure that out. Now some people are going to say, oh, I know. It's a, uh, I can make the 36 a 6 times 6 and then use the uh, uh, power property and, you know, add them up and etc. And yeah, you can, but I'm trying to do this using the uh, power property. So, but yeah, you could in fact use the product property if you wanted to, if you were in tune with what was going on. But I want to go ahead and try this a different way. So I'm going to rewrite the log base 4 of 36 as, well, let me go ahead and write it again is the same thing as the log base 4 of 6 squared. 36 is in fact 6 squared. So uh, according to this property, what do I do with this exponent right here? Well, I throw it out in front of the log. So this is the same thing as 2 times the log base 4 of 6. And some people are going to say, well, why did we want to get the log base 4 of 6? Because that's what we were given. We know that's uh, what well, we're given, and we can use this to uh, extract the information that we need to solve the problem. So log base 4 of 6 is actually approximately 1.3, but there's a 2 in front, so it's 2 times 1.3 is 2.6. That's pretty much it. I want to do a couple problems afterwards, uh, just solving problems, and see how it goes. Uh, just using any one of the formulas, not necessarily all four, but seeing if you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.